Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Anonis, the Tech Teacher, and welcome to Quarter 2, Week 5, Minecraft Coding Assignment. Panthers, we're finally starting Minecraft officially for the school year. This is for Kinder all the way to 5th grade. Now, if it's a little challenging for my Kinder's first graders, you don't have to do this coding stuff. You can very well explore and get to learn Minecraft, but for everyone else, we're doing Coding in Minecraft Education Edition. You can easily start this from home if you're doing this Monday or Tuesday, or I'll see you in class Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do this in person. But otherwise, let's get to Minecraft to get started. Sorry. Panthers, I've got my son here with me this evening. Well, I'm recording this evening, but you're going to watch it whenever you watch it. But uh, Christian's helping me explain and model this one for you today. So we're going to start off with a brand new creative flat world so let's model that we're clicking on play clicking on create new world we're gonna click on new and on the right hand side you can change the name to whatever you want he'll change it to something for himself to remember he'll change the difficult game mode to creative he's changing to the uh, difficulty level to normal you don't necessarily have to do that but we're going to flat he likes to show coordinates, and it's a really good idea to do coordinates, Panthers. And so we press play, and it's loading. And so we really, I really suggest when you're doing coding, whether at home in your own worlds or when you go to class with me to do coding, you do it in a world where you don't mind messing up, okay? If you've been in that world of yours that you've created those amazing houses and buildings and all that fun stuff, you don't want to do this coding stuff in those worlds unless you are sure and confident of your coding. Otherwise, you're going to be breaking stuff, unfortunately, okay? It just it just happens, all right? And so when you get into your world, one of the first things you want to do to start your coding is press the C on the keyboard. So start looking for that C on the keyboard, Panthers. Christians is almost done loading. We're going to give it a moment more. And so now he's in his world, but we're looking for a C on your keyboard. We're going to have Christian go ahead and press the C. And so Christian sees three choices. We want the top choice, Microsoft Make Code. Go ahead and click on that, Panthers. Now, some of you have done coding before. Maybe it starts right away in the coding uh, menus. And so, good, you're there already. But if you've never started, a lot of us younger Panthers, we might need to just press that pink one right away. And then it just takes a moment. Loading. Sometimes we just got to wait, OK? We'll give it a moment. And so when you see this menu screen for all the different options of coding, you're, you're going to be probably amazed and maybe surprised. Maybe it's a little bit uh, overwhelming. But there's a lot of choices from very easy things to very complicated things. Some of the things that you're going to show you things step by step. Some of the things they're going to show you um, a little bit out of the time. All right. So we're just going to wait a little moment more, Panthers. Please bear with us. Panthers, we made it into our coding menu. We want to look for Chicken Rain, which is an easy one. But also you'll notice if you move your mouse up and down, there's a bunch of other options available to us. And well, if you're more experienced, have done some of these in the past, like some of my older Panthers, then I might give you a chance to do some of these other ones. But for us beginners or some of us who need to refresh in our coding and Minecraft coding, um, we got to start with Jake and Rain, okay? It's actually, even as simple and easy as it is, it's probably the funnest one, just hands down. And that's probably why they start off with it. So you click on the Chicken Rain button, and then you click on Blocks. Don't click on those other orange options. You click on Blocks, okay? It'll say Start Tutorial. You click on blocks. You're going to see a little window pop up that gives you uh, an example of what Chicken Rain has in store for you. So here we have the example. It's going to kind of look like this. Chickens falling down on you. Now, you don't, you don't have to stick with chickens, and maybe Christian will try a different animal. But go ahead and press OK. We want to get started coding. Now, you can follow the steps, or you can just follow the way I'm telling you, OK? And so here we have a couple of buttons you can ignore the green one but we want to go ahead and click the purple mob button and we want to bring over 
the only option right now. And when you're doing these tutorials, you don't get very many options because they want to guide you one at a time. Okay. So Christian's going to choose whatever animal he wants. You, you can stick to chickens. You can stick to whatever. Your choice. All right. And so we want to make sure the mob uh, code is inside the blue on chat command. So Christian, move that whole purple into the blue. And now on the top, it says run. We want to either leave run. If you're doing chickens, you can spell chickens in there. You can just put an easy letter C. Now here's the thing, Christian capitalized panda. And so when he runs his command, he has to capitalize the word panda. You know that? Okay. Before you move on, you also have to decide now how far high up do you want these animals to spawn? In other words, spawn means to um, create, right? They just appear. And so the middle button is the one you really want to focus on. Christian's doing 25. Now, here's the thing animals that don't fly, if they spawn too high, they're not going to make the fall, but you're going to see it either way, okay? So Christian's going to press the green button. You gotta press the green button when you're done, Panthers, okay? The green button means run, okay? You're back at your world. Pandas are, or chickens or whatever you choose are not gonna hold. They're not gonna magically appear. You gotta enter your chat command now. So here comes Ch uh, Christian. He's gonna enter his chat command, T or enter. And now he's gonna spell the exact same way. I think you gotta do capitals. If you did capitals, you gotta spell capitals. If you did lowercase, you gotta do lowercase. Excellent. You press enter, now look up above. He typed it, look up above, and here they come. Oh, now here's the thing. Christian, oh, hold on, Christian. Christian realized he only had one panda spawn on him, and so now we gotta go back to the code, press the C. And we see that loop button on the left? We gotta click on the loop. And we gotta bring in the repeat button and surround the purple. And that four times, we wanna put a nice number. Now here's the thing, you got a similar laptop as Christian's, a school laptop, and so 500 or less is the best amount. You go more than 500, you might be freezing or stalling or crashing your computer. So the warning, okay? So I suggest 500 or less, and even 500 might be pushing it. So let's try. Press the green again. Get into your chat with T or enter and type in your word. Was it chicken? Was it panda? Was it just a letter C? Your choice, okay? And Christian's gonna look up and now all these pandas are raining down. Oh no, pandas, you didn't make it. Poor pandas. Christian pressed F5 to be able to see our third person perspective and you can see them. Oh man, oh yay, some of them are making it. Yes, pandas. If they tumble on their backs and rolling, I think they're making it, huh, Michael? Very nice. And so, I think that's it. That's most of our pandas, right? Or are they still falling? 500 is a lot. Now, Christian, before we leave, can you press the C one more time? Now, here's the thing. If you press C, you automatically stop your code. And so, whatever is going on stops. Now, let's actually choose chicken so they can see chicken what that looks like, okay? You can leave it at 100 if you want, or 500. Oh, now here's the thing. Christian left the word panda for chicken, and that's okay. He can still type panda, and the chickens are going to come down because now he chose chickens instead of pandas. If you go to your chat and type in your command, he wrote panda and left it panda, even though we changed it to chicken. And the thing with chickens is because because they're chickens and they have some feathers and they can sort of glide down, they're not going to get hurt as they glide down. And so look how majestically these chickens survive the fall. Ooh. Pretty amazing, Panthers. So have fun with this chicken rain code, Panthers. Whether you choose chickens, pandas, any kind of animal, have fun. Explore with this. It's a lot of fun. It's the beginning of our adventure. If you chose a different code, that's okay too, Panthers. All right? So try this out remotely. Try this out. Sorry, Panthers. Try this out remotely. Try this out in person when I see you. We're going to have a lot of fun with our first of four weeks of Minecraft coding, Panthers. All right? I'll catch you later. Bye for now.